Well, what is going on everybody? We have another Dreamweaver tutorial and this is going to be about frameworks. Frameworks are like libraries or modules of like prefabricated snippets of code that you can apply to your web pages. And guess what? It's built in to Dreamweaver. I'm going to show you how to set up a quick easy page using what's called the Bootstrap framework which is a nice responsive library that can make a web page that fits over a variety of screen sizes. Let's go ahead and begin. To begin with, I created a folder in my Dreamweaver projects folder. I called it bootstrap demo, all lowercase, all one word. And in that folder, I made another folder called images. And I just put a picture in there. This isn't any thematic page or anything like that just you know placeholders and things of that nature uh, that you can then change and modify to fit however you want it to fit with yours uh, so I have a picture in there I called it header IMG all lowercase all one word simple JPEG and we'll get to that here in a little bit uh, once we're in Dreamweaver then I need to go up to site and I need to go to new site and click my little folder here and make sure that I am in my uh, Dreamweaver projects folder and then I'm gonna select that bootstrap demo folder that I already created and click select folder and then for the site name I'll call this bootstrap example then click Save all right, then we need to go up to File and New. And this will be a little different than what we've done with our other tutorials. We do want it to be New Document and HTML, obviously. But instead of None for the framework, we're going to select Bootstrap. And I want to create New. And I do not want to include a pre-built layout. You can do that if you want, but we're going to build one from scratch using this and so make sure that's unchecked and then we'll click create that brings us into our page and you'll see we already have on here all of these extra little snippets up here or all these extra little tabs I should say there's our source code and then we got these CSS and JavaScript things those are items that are read-only we can't really modify and I'll show you how you'll be able to customize this in a little bit uh, when you look down here in the source code at the bottom they put some nice comments in here that show us where we can create our work in here so like here for example it says body code goes here and that's everything that goes in our in our page so if you go between that body code goes here and the jQuery give yourself a little breathing room in there then we're pretty much ready to go you can change the title to whatever you want here I'm just gonna show you how to put together a simple page uh, for that could be used for about anything uh, using these bootstrap components uh, so on here it's common a lot of times with this bootstrap framework you'll see the nav menu at the top uh, so before I add those things I probably should at this time go file and save as and then you'll see up here because I added this bootstrap content here it puts a CSS folder and a JS folder in there along with my images this index HTML is just gonna go right inside the bootstrap demo folder I'm not gonna put it in any of those other ones uh, then I'll click Save and then file save all and now for real I'm ready to add content for this page uh, so over here in my upper right hand quadrant of the screen here I can go up to insert and there's this little drop down menu and yours has been on HTML probably all this time if you click on that you'll see there's some other cool things in here one of them is bootstrap components if you click on that then we have all these cool things in here so if I want to put a nav menu up at the very top I just go over here what is this nav bar basic nav bar what on earth and then I click this 
there's different options in there however you want to do it I'm just gonna say you know what basic navbar I'm gonna click on that Dreamweaver supports bootstrap based response web page in live views switch to live view to view or to use bootstrap okay so I'll click OK there and it automatically put me into live view already so that works good um, and now I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna click that again since now I'm in live view navbar basic navbar and then it puts this code right in here and you'll see what it looks like up here and it's got all this information and if there's things in there you don't want you can take them out down here if you want to change the words you can change them right in here it's all in this code right here um, it's a lot of content or a lot of code uh, that you would normally type be typing in there that you don't have to worry about in here once we have that done I'll go ahead and press return a few times and now I'm going to add like a little area for a hero image and one example for that might be over here where it says jumbotron this works pretty good up as a header section so if I click here on jumbotron it puts in a div in here for a class of jumbotron and we have all of this content in here um, if I go file and save all real quick and I open up this index page just to see what this looks like in browser you see how clean this looks how cool is that when you shrink the screen down automatically it gives you that hamburger drop down menu without any actual code we didn't have to do any of that pretty sweet uh, let's say in the back of this jumbotron I want to have a image all right to customize that a little bit so here's the jumbotron I would just go here and then I could do something like style equals quotation marks background hyphen image put in my colon in there and then I put in my parentheses or URL parentheses and then in those parentheses I'll type in single quotation marks and then images slash and I have this header image that I put in there so I'm going to save that and then make sure I have my semicolon right there save again and then if I refresh this page then I can see where this image in the background is there now obviously right now I can't really see my text uh, with that so I would have to change the color of that you know and, and play around with those values or use a lighter picture or what have you but you kinda get the idea of where we're going out with this and and how easy that is so having that picture in there super helpful for it um, and yeah I just think it is a real easy feature to use uh, once we have that header area done then we can go beneath this and maybe I want to add some like cards some like content cards that could have a picture and a description well if I want those to be in a grid I just go back over here to bootstrap components find grid row and column and when I click on that I can add how many columns that I want to add in there and I'm gonna say I want there to be three columns that that looks great so I'll click OK and then it puts another div class in here and says content goes here for each of these so like let's say in each one of these I want to put in a card so I'm gonna clear out where it says content goes here and then I'm gonna go over here on the right hand side and I'm gonna select card I'll just choose the first one in there and then if I control C that and then I go down here and paste that in and then I go down to the third one here because it made three of them because we have three columns right I'll save that 
and if I look in here at my page and refresh now I have these cards that are in here so you'll see in here this looks a little bit weird it, it doesn't stretch out all the way and if I look up here in this little area I can click on these cards and I can just click on that and drag it all the way to the right and it's automatically going to adjust all of that for us are you kidding me so now I have these three cards on here looks really nice when I shrink this down you'll see here it goes to one column and then when I go down smaller it, it fits the whole screen on there so if I don't want it to look like that when it's this size all I have to do is go up here at the top and click on these on these little media queries and it shows you what the content looks like on there and so on here I can click and drag these out you know if I wanted to change them and and make make two to a column or something like that I could do that that would be that would be fine and now when I refresh my page here we are we got three gets down to tablet view then it's full size totally responsive I can just change these graphics in here from the code I can just change that source from images card IMG to all that I could change it to whatever pictures that I'm gonna add into my images folder it's as simple as that uh, if you remember how hard it is like just trying to make a slideshow on HTML or a carousel uh, using just HTML and CSS it's really difficult it's a, it's a real pain all of that and so what we can do is if we choose where we want that to be so I I could leave it here, here in the content uh, where I have this information here uh, that that grid or I can put it underneath the grid it's kind of up to you on however you want to do this and then over here I can simply just go to carousel and then it adds a carousel on there and again it's all customizable I can change any of that information in there that I would like I can add more if I if there's more in there um, if I have more pictures I want to add or I can take some out if I have fewer pictures by default it has three but you just click on that and it's all in there all that easy so that's bootstrap for you uh, in the simplest form now if you're wanting to change any of this stuff you know if you want it to be any different um, it is possible to change the colors and things of that nature uh, but because like I said before these documents up here are meant to be read-only because you don't want to mess up your bootstrap files uh, but you can look at them and if you scroll in here you'll see that they're using uh, this this variable system for their colors so like for in their root here at the very top like blue is this and then purple and pink and they use some hex values that are basically default to the library of bootstrap if you ever want to have any questions answered on bootstrap just do a search online for bootstrap and you'll find their website and they have a ton of documentation uh, where you can get very far into this rabbit hole uh, if you're really looking to get crazy with it um, but most of the time people are using it because it's an easy and fast way to make a nice looking page but let's say I wanted to change up some of the colors to it that is possible all I would really have to do is like going up here to my um, CSS designer in the upper right hand corner I can add another source so I'm going to add a new CSS file and then this one I'll just call it something like my styles maybe I'll if I go browse just to make sure I'm in the right folder and my styles.css and I am not saving this in the CSS folder that it created for me 
I'm going to keep this in the same area where my web page is just because that's what I'm comfortable with. So mystyles.css, then I'll click save. I'll make sure it says link. And then if you look here in the head section, you'll see it adds it right underneath your bootstrap CSS reference here. So mine is on line 9, and then on line 10, it added my mystyles.css on there. And that's how it refers to it. So that's, that's kind of nice that it does that. And then if I go over to mystyles.css, um, and like for instance here, let me look at my source code. So if I wanted to, I could say like um, one of these components was the grid, right? So I could say something like, or, I, or body, I could change the background of the body. It probably won't work as good for that. So I'll, I'll stick with the, with the grid. But if I look in here, um, or maybe one of these other ones, let's scroll down under Jumbo, Jumbotron. So here's a row, class row. So then if I go to my styles, then I can go dot row, use my fancy brackets in there. And then I could go background hyphen color, for instance. And then in here, I could put in VAR for variable. And then I would put in my parentheses. And then I'd put in two slashes. And I and one of them was blue, I'm pretty sure. And then after I put my semicolon in there. And you can see where it fixed that already on there. So that's the default blue color back there. There's not a lot of places showing in here uh, where those rows don't have content. But I could, I could have it change my H1s or my H2s or my paragraphs or any of those things. So any changes you do want to make to your colors and whatnot, you can do it. You just need to make a separate CSS that kind of overrides those. And you want to obviously try to stick to the same options in here uh, that they already have defined for you in there. But that's, that's bootstrap for you. Real easy to use. A um, lot of fun to play around with. And, I mean, totally responsive. Any screen size with very minimal effort in there. So... Play around with it. Let me know what you think. Uh, look at that documentation. If you have any further questions, you can sure put them in the comments and in below. And also, always looking for new ideas for new tutorials. I appreciate you all watching, and I hope you all have a great day.